Center rocket booster nozzle steering check and work. 20. Firing chain is armed. 15. Go for main engine start. Team on X10. 9, 8, 7, 6. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0. And liftoff. The final liftoff of Atlantis. On the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rate of performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Capcom Barry Wilmore, a transducer, instrumentation only, no action required. Atlantis now 15 miles in altitude, already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 1 minute 40 seconds into the flight. Atlantis flexing its muscles one final time. Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. The propulsion officer reports the orbital maneuvering system engine